So over the past weeks and months, there's been a debate that sort of recurs on social media about whether or not it's appropriate to call scabs scabs. For those who don't know, what a scab is, is basically a worker who crosses a picket line to do the work of workers currently on strike or locked out. It could be a member of that particular union who ignores the strike call or the lockout call and goes to work for the employer regardless. It could be an existing worker in that business, but that's not part of the union, that starts taking on additional tasks assigned to those unionized members. Or it could be somebody who has no affiliation to the company in question and crosses the picket line to take a job while a strike or lockout is happening. Regardless, that's what's called scabbing. When you do that, you are a scab undertaking the act of scabbing. And why it's so bad is that it undermines the principle of labor solidarity. A strike really only has effectiveness or the resistance to a lockout only really has effectiveness when all the workers are standing in solidarity when other workers don't cross the picket line, when other workers in the workplace don't start doing the jobs of those locked out or on strike. That's how workers collectively achieve better benefits to improve the standard for all workers. And when some people go in and take a job temporarily to basically undermine the union, that hurts everybody, all working people in the medium and long term. That's why scabbing is seen as such a dangerous and selfish and counterproductive move on behalf of the people who do it and why a lot of trade unionists and people who support unions use the term scab because it's a term of derision towards the people that engage in it. But increasingly on social media, some nominally progressive people are making the case that the term scab is inappropriate, that it's dehumanizing, that it's a form of privilege, that it allows relatively privileged unionized workers to judge marginalized people trying to scrape by. And I just want to say that I 100% disagree with that viewpoint. Some of the people who have aired that argument are people I agree with on many other issues. I'm not going to name names here. This isn't what this is about. I'm not, you know, trying to make a specific argument with any particular individual or individuals, nor am I trying to start a Twitter flame war. My goal here is to offer a counterpoint to those people. At the end of the day, I understand where they're coming from. There are some working class people who historically have struggled even more than those in unions. And for them, trying to scrape by is very difficult. And they may at times be very desperate. These are all examples about how unions fight for regular working people, the most marginalized working people. And of course, it's not perfect. And of course, there are workers who, because of their citizenship statuses or because of the illicit quote-unquote nature of their work, often lack formal labor representation, either by unions or under labor codes. There's a lot of blind spots, and unions could do better. But at the end of the day, there is no excuse to scab. I don't care. There's none. There is no excuse to cross a picket line and undermine one's work. And some of those people would agree with me, but they still don't like the word scab. But the word scab is 100% appropriate. It is a historical term of derision toward the people that undermine labor solidarity, and it's still valid today. If you see someone cross a picket line to do bargaining unit work of workers that are currently on strike or are being locked out by their employer, Call their ass a scab and be proud to do it. At the end of the day, a scab is a scab is a scab. And while I think I would draw the line generally at physical action, I don't think you should be beating up scabs. I think that many, many varied tactics are valid. A couple years ago, there was a labor dispute of a uniform local out in Newfoundland. And the union there took photos of the scabs and made a slideshow to highlight the people that are making a collective agreement harder to achieve, making workers' justice harder to achieve. And the union got backlash for that, saying they were doxing workers, saying they were doxing disproportionately racialized and female workers. And I have to say that while I've been very critical of Unifor for their large backing of Justin Trudeau and the anti-labor liberals, They were 100% right to shame those goddamn scabs. I don't care about the feelings of scabs. I just don't. 
I don't think it's dehumanizing to call scab scabs. I don't think it's dehumanizing to let people know that man, that woman is a scab. They are hurting working people collectively through their choice to violate a collective agreement. There's no nuance here. Scabbing is bad. Scabs are bad. Scabs are scabs. This is all rooted in the fact that I have to talk about this is all rooted in a very, very troubling phenomenon that's only intensified over the last few years, which is the neoliberal center right co-opting the language of the left to effectively neutralize leftist energies, whether it's corporations talking about the diversity of their boards or whether it's armies and security forces talking about how they have women operating machines of destruction or whether it's people saying that it's dehumanizing and marginalizing to call people of color and women scabs scabs. All of that is rooted not in a sincere attempt to achieve social justice and a sincere attempt to ask unions to better police their own histories of exclusion, all valid, but rather to use that language to stop us from building genuine solidarity, genuine militancy, and pointing our focus where it needs to be pointed at. Dirty employers that don't respect the bargaining rights of workers and scabs that undermine the bargaining rights of workers. So don't feel bad for using that word. Don't feel bad for using scab. Don't think that it dehumanizes people. And if anybody is in the process of dehumanizing and marginalizing, it's those people that look at a group of striking workers laying it on the line for all of us and they choose to fuck them over. That's dehumanizing. And those people are scabs.